In the Starship show this week as the Starship Kickstarter nears the finish line we detail what happens next and what features you can expect in the early access version and Fleet Yard share their first concept images for planetary landings. After what must have been an absolute whirlwind month for Fleet Yard Studios the Starship Simulator Kickstarter is, as I speak these words, just 3 days away from finishing. The initial funding goal of £65,000 was absolutely annihilated in a matter of 3 days and from there the total just kept rising and the stretch goals for the early access version of the game began falling like dominoes. As of this recording the total amount raised is just a smidge under a staggering £345,000 and, as a result, three of the project's stretch goals are now earmarked for inclusion in the eventual early access version of the game. Those stretch goals are room scale VR support, shuttles and alien structures in space and planetary landings. Starship has already been built with VR in mind and in actual fact the games current sole developer Dan Govier mentioned on a recent livestream that the first VR test for the game may be arriving fairly soon. The plan is for that build to literally be a test but if you're lucky enough to try it out then you should get a good idea of where Fleet Yard wants the game to go in the future. The stretch goal for shuttles and alien structures in space plans to add the ability to launch a shuttle and fly over to a derelict alien space station and explore its procedurally generated interior, attempt to restore power and see what resources you can salvage from inside. And finally the planetary landing stretch goal intends to add the ability to take that same shuttlecraft down to a procedurally generated fully explorable planet surface. At the time of recording the Kickstarter campaign has just 3 days to go, finishing on Friday the 19th of April at 8pm UTC. Following the end of the Kickstarter campaign Fleet Yard Studios will be publishing a full roadmap detailing what features are planned for early access and what order those things will be developed in. They've told us that in very broad terms at the very least they expect those features to include the Magellan class starship in a finished and polished state and initial basic versions of the following features. VR, a full NPC crew, player roles with role based gameplay and a much more fleshed out version of the galaxy featuring alien cultures to interact with derelict ships and stations to explore as well as planetary surfaces to land on. More on that in a moment. The current plan is for the game to enter early access on Steam certainly no earlier than 12 months from the end of the Kickstarter as a rough timeline but the free demo version of the game that is currently available will still be receiving updates post Kickstarter as more developers are brought on board and the development process begins to accelerate. I said we'd talk about planetary landings. Last week after the Kickstarter smashed through the planetary landing stretch goal Fleet Yard Studios shared a short video demonstrating what walking around on a planet could look like in the game. It's important to stress that what they've shown is just a test and isn't the start of the planetary landing development process. Think of it more in line with something like concept art. But seeing the footage you really do start to get an idea of where this is all going now. There's a lot that needs to go either side of planetary landings to make it happen not least of which is the shuttle bay of the Magellan class vessel complete with working shuttlecraft but with the successful completion of the Kickstarter we are now at least on the road. As I've mentioned the Starship Simulator Kickstarter still has a couple more days to run but once it's finished Fleet Yard will have the funds they need to get the next phase of Starship Simulator's development moving. Right now we are at the very start of the Starship story and whilst the tech demo on Steam is a seriously impressive start there is a long road that now lies ahead of us. 
Here at the Burr Pit we are very excited to be on that road however and we hope you'll come along with us as we bring you all the news, updates and developments from the Starship Simulator journey. How far have you travelled into the Starship Simulator galaxy? What role are you most looking forward to taking on the ship and have you found Admiral Cluck Norris walking the corridors of your starship? Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video remember to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you want to directly support our work here at the Burr Pit you can also join us on Patreon. That's it for now. Clear all moorings, thrusters to one quarter, helm. Take us out.